Okay, another Python video. This one's about calculus. I'm trying to um, do some math in Python, which math is pretty handy for programming languages. So here's the script I've been working on. Um, I have it nice and clean. It's not run, so you don't see any output. You don't see any line numbers on it. Um, hopefully that'll make it easier to follow for this first part. So Python can do a lot of different stuff. It's got some language in itself, but a lot of what it does comes from sub-languages or other languages. Um, in this one, I'm importing one called SymPy, which is about using symbols in Python. Um, other ones that we're probably going to use later are NumPy and SciPy. NiPy, NumPy has to do with um, using numbers, and SciPy has to do with science. So these, both those are used a lot um, for data analysis. Um, but I'm starting, I'm just using SymPy right now. Um, I'm going to run into some bugs during this uh, video. And so I'm kind of seeking help from the mad coder that codes at midnight um, or whoever else might be able to help me here. Um, and I just want to let you know that um, I am trying different stuff before I kind of give up and say, okay, let's make a video and ask some questions in the video and try and get some help. Um, so one thing I did try and do is I tried to put NumPy, I tried to import NumPy and SciPy in uh, both together and one at a time such that um, maybe that would fix the bug, but um, it made it worse. So I'm going to do that again later so we can talk about that a little bit. Um, but basically what I'm saying here is, is, is from Simpy, SimPy, um, import star, and so that means star means import the whole part of SimPy. Where otherwise, if we, we could specify to just import part of SimPy so that the code would run faster, I guess. Um, but I'm not that complicated, so I'm just um, importing all of it. What SimPy lets me do is use variables, I guess. I don't know if I call them variables, but use X and Y as symbols. Uh, so that's really handy for doing math. I think the diff command is also from SimPy. And um, basically it's going to take uh, the, the uh, differential of the equation. So there's some parameters to put in. Uh, first is the function itself. Um, right now I've got y plus x to the y. Now we use these little asterisks, right? If you use one asterisk, then it'd be x times y. If you use two asterisks, it's x to the y, to the power of y. Um, if it was if it was just a one variable function, then we could just leave it at that and close the parentheses. But since there's two variables, we need to tell the computer which variable to take the differential in terms of. In this case, we're going to take the differential in terms of y, the dy dx dz dy. Now with the rest of the program what I'm trying to do is put that differential in some usable functional form um, to try and define it as a function. The, the def command, def command um, makes a usable function. And so I'm trying to make one out of the derivative, try a few techniques and things just get crazier as we go on. The last line is um, adding a couple question marks after a command gives you more info about the command. Or if you add one question mark, it'll give you more info about the, the command. Supposedly, if you add two question marks, it'll include the source code for the command. So then you could see how MATLAB thinks about taking the differential. However, when I tried this, I didn't see any source code. Setting. Um, so I just wanted to to mention that, and I'm going to go ahead and delete that line because it, it doesn't work. But um, it can be a useful tool if the source code is there. 
So when we run the program, the first thing we see is that the diff command works. Um, basically, x to the y times log of x plus 1 is the right answer we were looking for. However, when I try and start to um, define that as a function, that's where things start getting crazy. Okay, so, so my first attempt is to try and define a function EF of x and y as the differential of my function, which was y plus x to the y. Um, and then when I ask it to tell me what EF is, it gives me some computer garbage. Um, when I say, hey, print EF, it gives me some other computer garbage. Um, so I'm trying multiple methods to see, to try and solve problems. That's kind of the idea. So my next attempt is basically trying to find um, a function EFF as a function of x and y, where it's um, my function y plus x to the y, and then I try and differentiate that, and what happens is I get a syntax error. So um, that's nothing to be alarmed about, right? When you're learning programming, you get a lot of syntax errors, and you think, oh, geez, I'm a terrible programmer. But the fact is, the more you get better at programming, the more of these you get. Um, you just get them at, at different levels. I think it's pretty safe to say here that um, my problem is with defining functions. Um, Matt Python wants to do that a little differently, and I'm doing it wrong. Um, but as I've said in other videos, being wrong is an awesome thing because then it gives us a chance to learn something new. Now, in the syntax error feedback, there's often good information to use, um, especially down in the bottom. It'll say, it says simplify error, um, and whatever went wrong, it's trying to tell me what, what, what went wrong. And um, I'm not familiar enough with the program yet to, to be able to understand what it's telling me. But there is good information here to, to use. Uh, this word quargs was also appeared when I was trying to do the uh, double question mark um, on the diff command and try to find the source code of that. It seems that this um, error message has given me some source code um, with this quargs stuff in it. And that might be the source code. It may have been in the um, double question mark thing. I just didn't recognize it. Um, but there's some command called return derivative, and if I wanted to see how Python takes derivatives, then maybe what I should do is type in return derivative and put two question marks after that. But nothing here today is, is, is really helping me with the actual bugs I'm facing right now. So the first thing I try and do is try and fix it myself before I go and you know be like, hey, Matt Coder, Code to Midnight, help me out here. Um, so first thing I'm going to try and do is change this first line from it was from simpy import star, and I'm going to say import simpy, which I think is saying the same thing. I don't think it will change anything, but we'll give that a shot. As expected, that change in the program didn't um, produce any results. Um, so the next thing I'm going to try is also importing NumPy and SciPy. Uh, people often import NumPy as NP, so they don't have to write NumPy every time they do it. I mean, you could you can import it as whatever you wanted to, um, but NP is the standard notation. Because um, I'm thinking maybe um, these programs had some, these languages or sub-languages had some tools in them that um, 
maybe I need for my program and I didn't have those tools and that's why it's failing. So we'll try that. Okay, so importing the other sub languages didn't seem to have any effect, um, good or bad. So, okay, I I'm pretty sure that my problem is with how I'm defining functions. So I decided to use the question mark um, thing to find out more more information on how def works. And it says object def not found. Um, and so that's the point where programming just gets, it can get frustrating sometimes. So the key part is to don't get frustrated. To just, um, it's, it, now you know the time to ask for help. Okay, so maybe the bad coder can uh, help me with this problem. Maybe not. You know, um, you say, hey, I, I really want to help you, but uh, I just don't know the answer to what you're trying to do. Uh, I'm fine with that. Um, now, just a heads up. Um, there's the, the next thing I'm going to try and do is take that derivative, set to zero, and solve for x and solve for y, um, just so... You have an idea of where I'm going next. And then once that's done, I have all the uh, math theory stuff that I need. Um, you know, maybe there's some matrix stuff, but I can we can do that later. Um, I'm less concerned about arrays, vectors, matrices. Um, that should all be pretty straight, a lot easier than the calculus for a computer to think about. Um, anyway, so then we'll get on to the data stuff, um, which is really exciting. That's kind of the, the um, thrust of what Mad Coder at midnight will talk about, and I'm really interested in data analysis as well. Um, again, these tools will be really helpful for data analysis because data analysis is a minimization problem because we're trying to find a line that minimizes between the line and all the data points. Um, so uh, I think you can see where I'm going with this, and and I know there's ways to to do that, but also what I'm trying to do is combine theory with um, data analysis, um, scientific theory. So um, I think you understand what I'm doing here, and hopefully you can help me out. And if not, that's fine too. Um, thanks so much for, for your videos and your support.